Hey everyone, pretty much the only news story this past week was the fate of the submersible that went to visit the Titanic and what turned out to be a bit of a more permanent trip than was advertised, although the company was depressingly spot on about the promise to leave the customers breathless. Maybe I shouldn't make jokes, how could I sink so low? Uh, get it. But the BBC were getting in on the act first when they posted the story as quote, breaking news. The sad part of it all is that if only there hadn't been any British taxpayers on board then the RNLI would probably have had them all rescued by now and living in a hotel in East Sussex. Anyway, responses came in from all over the world. Diane Abbott offered her condolences to the 38 people on board, whilst the US Navy decided to admit that they'd known for days what happened but kept it secret, presumably so they could then later use it to cover up the Hunter Biden story. The families have said that they're determined to find the bodies and wreckage, saying, quote, we will look for you, with Celine Dion presumably adding, near, far, wherever you are. Anyway, the owners of the exploration company have kept rather quiet, although I suspect it's because they're spending a lot of time talking to their lawyers instead. The actual craft appears to have been a death trap from the get-go. There's talk about it largely getting away with its design by not having to pass any tests because it was operating in international waters. You know, things like how the controller was from an Xbox, and how the strategy of what to do if anything went wrong seemed to just put everything in a bag of rice and hope for the best. When you read the description of the ghastly cramped inside of the thing, it actually sounds not too dissimilar from a studio flat in East London, although at £250,000 it was obviously far more affordable. I mean, at that price, here's a business proposal if anybody wants to invest in a new startup with me. The business is basically we fill some people downing a load of money and in exchange we let them swim in a volcano. Then if they somehow survive that, then we give them an iPhone, some Air Jordans and drop them off in the south side of Chicago. Anyway, I guess that's enough for this week. Although I will say, if it had made me in that submarine, then this week I'd have mostly been drawing a portfolio of nudie pictures of Kate Winslet just to cheer up the rescuers when they eventually found my remains at the bottom of the sea. Anyway, see you next week. Like these, like, subscribe.